Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 236. And I got a request of um, how uh, to adapt your antenna cable to the connector on your radio. And let me just take this connector off temporarily. And I did a show uh, a few shows ago about where to get these adapters and the cables and connectors and all that stuff. But anyway, this is my uh, G, G5RV antenna coming in. And um, this, this was all pre-built, so I didn't have to do anything. And the connector it came with, which is typical um, for the G5RV and other ham radio antennas is this PL259 connector and most ham radios uh, accept this connector directly they have an SO239 connector on them which mates with this so as I had said before on that connector show if you don't want to hack this off and have to install a cable, I mean a connector, you can use adapters. And here are the two adapters I'm using right now. The uh, Grundig 750 radio has a B and C connector on it for one of its antenna inputs. So I just purchased this adapter that goes from the 239 cable to the B and C and you just simply put that adapter on here screw it in and you're ready to plug this into your radio now if I want to use my say my PL660 it has or requires this type of connector for its external connector for its external antenna connector this guy right here which is a, a 1 8 inch connector so I bought an adapter for that and when I, if I want to switch between those two radios I just unscrew this one adapter put the other one on tighten it down and I'm ready to go to plug that in out of the radio now one other step you can make and I don't have one uh, available right at this minute is you can go a little fancier and once you set up it's a lot more convenient is to use an antenna switch and what you would do like I say I don't have an antenna switch loose right here right now is you would plug this antenna into the uh, single input port to that switch and then you would have two short cables coming off of that that um, ideally they would and, and normally those um, um, antenna switches will have these kinds of connectors on it so if you want to use your antenna for your Grundig 750 you need a cable with this kind of connector on one end and um, this kind of connector on the other end and so you would hook one side of the switch to switch between the two antennas to that kind of a cable and if you want to hook up your PL660 you'd have a cable with this kind of connector on it uh, ideally so that you didn't have to use any uh, adapters but if you couldn't find that particular cable you could buy some short cables say 18 inches maybe three foot that would come out of that switch and would be the same uh, type of connector that the switch has which is this type and it would have the same connector on the other end which is this type and then you would just use this adapter to finally connect it to your radio your 750 or use this adapter for your 660 and I still need to do that um, I actually I want to get a switch that gives me three outputs because um, there are three basic 
type of connectors on these sh portable or even tabletop shortwave radios, and this is two of them, and then there's a third type um, that I'd like to be able to have them all set up so I can switch between three radios when testing. Now there are other uh, inputs to these radios, like for instance, I believe the 750 has another, another set of inputs, which are just uh, wire inputs like uh, you would have on the back of a speaker that you just clip uh, the cable wire to. I'm trying to think of if there's any other ones that I have uh, that have any other connectors. Like I say, most ham radios, uh, e even transceivers and receivers, like icon receivers, will have this kind of connector on so you don't have to do any adapter. So I hope that explains things. Um, Robert was the one that asked this question, and I hope this explains these adapters to you, Robert, and how to hook them up. And also, I wish I had a switch here that I could show you what I was talking about on switch, but I don't have one right now. I need to order one, and you know me, I procrastinate. So that's the show for today. If you have any other questions, because I like questions, and I like to do a quick video for people, and uh, try to do a video explaining um, the answer, which is much sometimes a lot easier than trying to put it in words. So if you've got a question, please uh, leave a comment or send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.